Welcome back everyone, my name is Tokreev and this is some more Surviving the Aftermath. And this is our colony of Skylights. And we're currently in the middle of a nuclear fallout catastrophe. We currently have five irradiated colonists. They'll get help very soon, hopefully. It's night time though, so our medics are not currently working. Okay, now they're treating people. Perfect. Um, yeah. As long as no one dies, I'm happy. So many research. Garot has been doing work. And I uh, can. Oh no. Stupid helicopter. Um, you were going west, so... You were up here. Yeah, you were working these things. So let's continue where you were. That's basically all we're doing. Like, I really like the ideas of the cars, but they're just not that super useful. Seven irradiated people, but we still have iodine pills, so... They will be cured reasonably fast, I hope. Yeah, having two medical tents is really, really helping here. But it'll slow down because we're almost out of pills. Down to three cops, up to seven again. Yeah, the fallout is um, really, really painful on the um, pills. Uh, return. Ah, good. Now, those are some resources coming in. Groat had a lot of them. Oh, come on, panda. Why do you do this? Hey, it's a hatchback. Like, the cars are fine, they're just, you know, not necessary, really. I feel. We're down to one water, though. <gasps> we have children! Let's uh, open up our school. 11 already. Jeez. That's... Well, we're down to six again. Um, a scientist needs help. She wants to clear her mind. One of your more scientifically minded colonists approaches you, having struggled with a particularly, particularly tough issue for what feels like an eternity. She wants to take a hike outside the colony to clear her head. What's more worrying, though, is that she needs to do this alone. You know what? Fine, let's go. She prepares for the trip, says her goodbyes, and wanders off on a lonely trail. You don't hear anything from her for a long while, until she practically storms through the gate. I got it! I finally got it! She exclaims and rushes straight past you into her laboratory. And that's free science. Which reminds me, I forgot to start doing science again. Oopsie. Um... I definitely want to continue with the colony stuff because I want to get to better housing, which requires us to research the medical center. And I should really get a general storage up somewhere. Okay, the nuclear fallout is over, so now the people are just getting their work stuff done again. Yeah, let's build it here. Specialists are ready. You can go possibly kill them. I doubt. Yeah. 0 to 11. That's rough. I'm sorry, Panda. You have to come back. With only 28 things, you know? It's. Yeah, that's not great. Had some really bad luck. Mike, on the other hand, is doing fine. 
everyone else is healing, so... We are out of iodine pills, so it's taking longer to heal people, but... They are being treated, so... It says it's four colonists, but I can count more than that. I can count five right now, like, there are two occupants here and here, but... Mm -hmm. More berries... Mm -hmm. You know what, let's demolish these two storage areas because, you know, they're way too far out for our uh, people to work with, really. Well, Mike finishes it up without taking more damage. Unlike Panda, who keeps taking so much damage. That is, ooh, a radar station, and that would take quite a bit to take out. Or, well, I should say to clear out. Um, right, you're working these two pl ruined planks. I'm gonna need to work on something with concrete very soon. Like this one. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar is actually about to die. What the hell, Oscar? <gasps> Holy shit, that was timing. Oh my god, he was on three health. Oscar, don't do this to me. You're scared me. A couple of colonists approach you, requesting permission to open the gate. They've heard animal noises not too far away and would like to go hunting. It's dangerous business where people might get injured or worse, but food could come in handy. Let the party go for a hunt. The group approaches the gate, seemingly bickering about something. From the evident lack of meat, the hunt didn't go well, but no one is willing to take the blame for it. That's a shame. Of course, taking damage all the time. You can finally finish up that part. What is that even? A military camp? Okay. Yeah, sure. Keep exploring, Mike. Firewood without any of the hassle. Well, we are dropping in food, but... That also has to do with the fact that we just lost a lot of working time on our fields. So, there's that. Okay, so we finished the medical... I'm actually going to move from the two tents to the one medical center. Which means that prescriptions is a really good idea. Um, field hospital. Does cost power. Where do I put it? We can fit it in here, but we would have to remove some of the flower bushes. And the medical tent can also be demolished. You have done your job. Not a, well. Let's work on this one first. You keep moving here. Get me that firewood. You are done. You can come back there. Let's keep scouting. Let's scout this area first. More research, perfectly fine. Sure 
And that's everyone done again. You're again out of work because there are no more trees left. Keep killing the trees. Those are pink flower bushes. Um, yeah, this will require us to build an extra solar panel. Field hospital is done. Let's have people working there. And now we can demolish the medical tent. So the medical tent has room for two, for with two workers. Field hospital has room for six with three workers. It's just better. And I can start healing. Takes 30 damage, jeez, in your first scouting mission. That's a lot of a lot of running. Holy crap! Finish the stuff there. You continue running here, and that's everyone. Prescriptions is done, so the medical center is even faster. Let's get surge protectors. Hey, they did pick up all that stuff, but they never picked up this. Hmm. Oh, right. We can trade for stuff. I forgot that trading is part of the game. <laughs> um, nothing that we need. Well, I could buy the fish. How are we doing on food? We are dropping in food, so I will get some of that fish. Grab all of it. Um, wow, now we have a lot of planks. Maybe that's too much. Let's give him 60 planks. Uh, apparently no planks then. Let's do 30 plastic. 60 planks. Gets us 22 coins. Anything else? Well, hang on. I can just send them all our pollution. Hmm. Okay, that is probably a massive oversight. That That's literally free stuff. I can just sell your pollution away. Yeah, they go, they should deal with it, so. Huh. Hmm. That makes no sense 10 water um there's room for one here yeah let's just build it there even though it's less efficient at least it's something you scout this way For real? Oh, we're having some really bad luck on these rolls right now. Ugh, frustrating, to say the least. Still research. So research gets slower because stuff is starting to cost way more. I had a lumber yard. Or, no, I have a sawmill, right? I have a logging camp, forester... Yeah, we do have a sawmill over here, so that's good. Our water well is done. We get yeah, we need more food. Um the cornfield is nearly done. I 
Let's get ourselves a very big field to work with. Okay, that's clear. The trapper is still at a hundred percent. Move the work area slightly. More people at the gate, though. Um, there we go. Let's select something for food. Uh, medium yield, but slow rates. Uh, yeah, wheat. Um, search protectors is done. Let's get knowledge preservation. More survivors. Four adults, zero children. Places like this give me hope. Right now, people see the catastrophes as divine punishment. But maybe one day we'll think of them as normal weather. We'll accept them because more people is more stuff to do. Injured, no one is... Oh my gosh. Seriously, this guy. Um, let's go this way. With our new person. Are you freaking kidding me? They're all being very terrible at rolling right now. <laughs> Garot, let's go there. Mike, scout out. Hospital, no, police station with medicine. Um, more cockroaches, so it's more free food, I suppose. Crickets, buffalo worms. Yeah, they're all trying to eat different things. Wow, we are really low on fish. Ooh, I apparently almost forgot that we had to do the world map stuff. Mm. Doesn't take damage, that's always nice. Sin Town. Okay, um, yeah, you get back. And that's everyone. Um, hello, Sin Town. This place can be a veritable den of sin, or the best place on earth to have a bloody good time. Forget your worries at the Coliseum, the town's many eateries, or with other, more exotic offerings. People seem to drift onwards with a permanent hazy look in their eyes. Um, large field. Um, right, I do need to put more people working there. Because they can. There's also room for another tenement. Or, well, you only have one more room for person to... Wow, that's... That's perfect spot. It really is. I'm going to make sure there is a road connection between here, though. And that is the pink flower bush. Bloody crap. Oh, I hate the mis misplacement a lot. Did we finish all the roads by now? Yeah, we did. So that's at least a good thing. Specialists are ready again. Ooh. They look scary. Um. Oh no, Panda's ready for more. Yeah, you were exploring there. Um, actually, you can grab that because there's zero danger. And I will finish up the research with Garotes. Oh, now I have to bring Mike back. More food from cockroaches, I suppose. I'm still not sure how the fishing is going so slow. Like, six, four per day. It's probably because they have to move that far, maybe. It's possible. Um, in that case, I'm going to remove this one. And build a new fishing hut up here instead.
Specialists are ready. Good, good, good. Nomad is ready. Clothing. That's nice. Alright, that really dangerous tool shop. Mike, um, let's hopefully... Good, that's a shortcut now. Of course, of course she takes tons of damage. And I go back here. That's fine, actually. That's a perfect attack. That's well, not a kill, but wow, only two damage, though. So. Camilla is now an adult. Hyperactive, but educate needs more time to get educated. Well, they're educated now. Knowledge preservation, that allows us to build a library. And let's get comfortable housing. Metal depleted, oh boy. Metal right there. Trade is done, so we have some extra food come in. This fishing hut is working. Um, nuclear waste depleted. Great. That's going to be a massive yield once it's done. 0 to 13 damage. Only did 2 in the last... Oh, jeez. Only 3 damage now? 0 to 13 does 2 and 3. I'm just saying that's bullshit. Uh, Mike needs to come back home. Right, you can grab the clothing. And that's everyone. Seven specialists now, right? Yeah, seven. Jeez. There's still room for more. Flax, we're doing really well on fiber. Um, a crowd of what must be the most beaten down individuals you've ever seen arrives at the gate. They're a picture perfect representation of worn down survivors with tattered clothes, dirty faces, and scarred bodies. The leader of the group steps forward. Greetings, as you can see our family has been through a lot. You probably can't take us all in, but would you fulfill one request? Take Grandpa, heal him, and write down his stories. That way, our family legacy won't be wiped out with us. Um, I'm taking everyone in. The woman looks absolutely baffled. Really? You sure we we weren't exactly the most we aren't exactly the most valuable group around? No, thank you so much. The entirely that. Uh, and the entire family erupts into tearful cheers, which prompts a round of applause from the nearby colonists. It seems that, at least today, compassion was worth the risk. Well, they are hurt and irradiated, but... Arya is... Martial artist, has a lot of extra health. Believer has a lot of max happiness bonus. Radiation sickness, though... That should help, yeah, for sure. We now have 51 people. 51. Um, and because we have so many, I'm going to put... That, not a scrapper. Put down another forester.
let's make sure we have a better road connection to the front of the colony. That should reduce movement a bit as well. Yeah, for, oh, we're out of wood on the sawmill. Let's just move the work area a bit further away. Right, world map. Clothing, return, you move here. Okay, how the hell? Okay, so you're gonna explore that and then I'm gonna call you back home. I do wanna see what's there before I get there, basically. Oh, more parts. Those are actually parts. Are you now finally gonna dis- Oh my god, one damage. Does 0 to 13. Does 2, 3, and 1 in a row. Unbelievable. Useless. Incredibly useless. Oh, our forester is done. Uh, move it to there. So now we have this area forested, this area forested, this area forested. Still 100% even though there's now a road going through <laughs> the hunting area, which is kind of funny. Um, definitely want to build another road connection on this side. And what's... Hi, Grace. Grace is using a door to the sawmill. We can now build a lightning rod. Mm, but... Let's build that torch here. Oh, that's where the nuclear fallout was, I think, yeah. This stockpile is apparently about to be full. That's comfortable housing, and now the most important one, supported walls. Supported walls is the thing that... Oh, right, oof. Our food is dwindling even faster. We did remove that one. Okay, specialists are ready. Can you finally do this? Oh, thank you. Jeez. Of course Panda fails. Okay, since that is zero problems might as well continue it wow we're being stupidly unlucky here more science though that was everyone right yes everyone has done things we might yeah, we do have two working stockpiles. Okay, that's that concrete done. More concrete here. I really need the concrete. Also need the planks because those two-story houses are pretty big. And costly. But they take a little bit less space than a tenement, so... But still, I'm gonna just replace the tenements one by one anyway, so... It's not really going to impede anything. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Um, I really need more food. So I'm going to build another trapper. Over here. Yeah, we'll see what uh, happens. We're really... Food is dropping fast. I do have, like, a lot of...
crops ready to be harvested pretty soon. So hopefully that'll also be helpful. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think I already said it, but I'll just say it again. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date in the future. And make sure to ring that bell if you want to be notified when a new video goes live. And I will see you all later. Fuck.